Right, welcome to the podcast. Today's guest is John Coxhead. John, welcome. Welcome. Right, so if we make a start, obviously I thought this would be a good episode to carry on from the last one where I spoke with John Claridge and we sort of discussed the car park lake. Obviously you're very local um, with where you are, so if you, how did it all start for you? Because I know you, did, you had a good um, time on the car park, so can you take us back to where it started? Well, I am local. I only live a couple of miles away from it at the moment. Um, but I was in Farnham at the time. Right. So I wasn't... A little bit of travelling, but not a lot. Yeah. Um, I thought turned to Yately when a couple of mates, when we were fishing um, a Farnham water called Stillwater, had a couple of... Had a handful of 30s in it, up to about 36. Nice fish called Penny, which I caught, luckily. Mm. Um, they mentioned that they were going over to uh, the Yately complex... No mucking about, straight on the car park side of the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they went straight for it. Um, didn't take much of twisting my arm to get me to have yeah. a, a jaunt over there as well. But I didn't want to jump in straight away on the north and the car park lake. I wanted to go on the Cops Lake um, mm-hmm. and the Match Lake as well. I'd had a little go on there before, like, probably about 10 years previously. Mm-hmm. Um, when would this have been? What sort of year would that have been? That would have been late 80s. Right. Okay, that would have been probably 89, maybe 90. Mm-hmm. Would have been about that. Um, I mean, I, I was a completely different angler then. Mm-hmm. Uh, boilies didn't use my eyes particularly <laughs> well. Um, so... I wasn't that successful. Did have a couple of little fish out the Cops Lake when, mm. when I was over there initially. Uh, a couple of cricket back commons, I don't know, 12 pounders, nothing like that. But I loved the lake. What, what a place. And mm. I actually left, okay, I had a couple of months on there, a couple of weeks, and left and thought, I'm going to come back here when I properly know what I'm doing. Yeah. Or try and know what I'm doing anyway, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I went off, did a couple of other lakes. Um, and, and I went over to. To the Cops Lake, yeah, and um, started baiting up over there, and it was quiet, there wasn't a lot of people over there, so, mm. which was nice, so, so I was able to do a bit of pre-baiting, a little mm-hmm. bit of, by now, I sort of changed my angling, and I was trickling a few pellets in the edge, I'd always been quite stalky, sort of fishing off the top, mm. and um, in and around snags, around tri-lakes, and, and things like that, but I'd sort of... I'd sort of sussed out that they, I, I can see them under the water with, with my glasses on. So, mm. so that's, that, that's the method I chose to try and do over there. Mm. And straight away, I was really surprised. I, I had some of the... I think I was quite lucky, actually, because I think... Well, I don't know if it's luck, but a few fish, had, extra fish had been put in the Cops Lake from Pit 10, where they, I think they drained it down and taken it. So there was a few more fish to, to actually observe and look at and, mm-hmm. and see how your bait was going and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, so, so it was good. I didn't catch anything on the first, first session. Um, I th- if I remember off the top of my head, I think it was World Cup week. Right. So it was a quick nip in there, bait yeah. up, have a quick look round, get back for one of the matches on the telly. Watch the, I actually yeah. went to the World Cup in, um, in France that year, so I was right. heavily involved in it. That yeah. sort of came first. Yeah. Anyway... Um, just before I went off to the World Cup, I did manage to, to whip one out. I, I, I whipped out one of the originals, really old one, uh, called uh, the Piglet. <laughs> Only a t- twenty-one pounder, but I was absolutely yeah over I the bet. moon. You know, yeah. really pleased. Yeah, the original, brilliant, brilliant. Um, I'd watched it as well, pick up the bait and, and all stuff like that. So, so yeah, yeah, good. Um, continued on the Cops Lake. Um, the, what was there in there? There was there was. Five, five thirty pounders. Just did pause a sec. Anyway, I went on to have a, I went on to have most of the thirties. I think the only one I didn't catch was um, scaly, which actually was a lovely one. I'd love to have caught it, but didn't catch it. Mm. Um, didn't catch the leather as well. That was another lovely carp in the cops, like real sleek, mm. le- really nice and just looked lovely in the water. Mm. Nearly caught it once. Probably highlights. One of the problems that you can have fishing with pellets, and it was quite a known wily, wily carp. This one, the, the leather. Right. Um, I was observing. I was. I, I had a, right in Richie's Bay, a real dark corner of the Cops Lake. Um, I had five or six fish feeding in there, and one of them was the leather. And, and I think I had a boilie on, 
as a, as a hook bait. And it was so dark, I could actually drop, I could drop the bait on top of the, on top of the fish, because it wasn't even a rod length out, it's only like half, two foot yeah. out, not, not, but deep, yeah. Yeah. it had a bit of depth, yeah. two foot, anyway. Dropped it almost right in front of the lever, and after a little while, I see him suck the bait in, spit it out, and, and the actual bait went on the access, okay, on, what would you call it, on the, on the angle of the hook length, yeah. went, did a sort of uh, like 180 degree arc, okay, yeah. Yeah. landed the other side, and I swear on my life, it picked it up again, <laughs> and spat it out again. <laughs> I thought, oh my days, do you know what I mean, how are you going to catch that one? Yeah. Okay, but I did have a few tricks up my sleeve, I'd caught a few fish out of the match lake on worms. Which was fine if you had fish feed in there, mm. but if you've got perch around, you, you can yeah. be in trouble. Um, but I'd had a few on worms, uh, and it sort of provokes a res- response. Well, mind you, the boilie provoked a response. It, 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 it still took it in, didn't yeah. it, but spat yeah. it out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, I put a couple of worms on, donked it in. By now, Slate Grey had turned up, which was a thirty pounder, which I wanted to, which mm. I wanted to catch more than the lever. So I don't, <laughs> I literally donked the, um, literally donked it two inches from his face, no. donked it down in front of it, wriggling worms, probably about four or five little, only little, little yeah. worms, probably a couple of inches long. Yeah, yeah, took it straight away. I mean, mm. hooked it. Yeah. Mm. Give, um, give him my mate on the match like a shout. Yeah, and. and did the pictures of that, yeah. yeah. Um, but that sort of highlighted the problem that you can have with um, sort of small baits like mm. pellets, you know. Um, he soon spat that boilie out. Um, so I sort of realised I had to change it round a bit if I was going to maybe have a little... Mind you, the worms... I thought I'd cracked it, actually, I'll tell yeah. you that. Because having these worms up my sleeve, I thought I'd cracked it and mm. I thought I'd be able to... Yeah, go maybe go over the other side of the lake and... Yeah. Uh, Anyway, that didn't work out. <laughs> because I, I think me and Steve Paggy Lartus right. were watching a he- Heather, this is a, probably a year or two on, we're watching yeah. Heather in a snag, and, and we were testing testing it out, seeing what we could get away with. Yeah. I think it was close, I think it was a close season or. Right. Anyway, I lobbed the worm in, right in, a, a nice juicy lob worm, right in front of. Um, Right in front of uh, Heather, two per two perch are coming. One's grabbed one end, the other's grabbed the other end. They've had a row, literally two foot in front of Heather's face, yeah. well, a couple of inches in front of Heather's <laughs> face, and they're tugging it off. All. That ain't gonna be the way to go. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I sort of left that. Anyway, had a few fish from that side of the road. Decided at the start of the following season, right, I'm gonna go in for the draw on the car park. Okay. Put my ticket in. I think there was 36 pe- or 28 people there for the draw and only... Right. Or there, there was an excess anyway. Mm. Six people wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to fish, right. OK? Yeah. My name never came out, so I never got... A, <sighs> I, I never even got on that first week. Right. Back over to Match Lake, tail between my legs. <laughs> I think I did have one out... Of the, or a couple out of the... A uh, couple out of the bum snag, I think. I caught the bum snag fish that weekend. So it wasn't all doom and gloom. Yeah. Um, and I thought I'll just go back over there and I'll let it all quieten down might be a blessing in disguise go back over there in a couple of weeks or something anyway I did go back over there a bit later on in the summer went over there for the first time had a little look round yeah look, look, look nice look lovely a um, couple of my mates had already had a bit of success uh, Dave Ball had caught um, the big orange wow right. what a fish and right. I think that was off the back of catching I think I was sat with him actually I think I was sat with Dave on the North Lake <laughs> on that opening day that I never came out, okay, right. and I'm moaning to him, saying, oh, yeah. I wanted to get a start over there, I didn't yeah. come anyway. As I'm sitting there with him, there's a big call, over in the corner, um, up in Leroy's, Basil's come out. <laughs> so we all, and that's on the first day, we all went round there, had a look at Basil, and um, yeah, lovely. Bully, I thought everyone would pack off, and Bully yeah. saying, no, I'm staying. Yeah. I said, oh, are you Dave? <laughs> Good on you, you know. He said, yeah. "Yeah, I'm staying," and he stayed. And three days later, he caught it <laughs> as well. So he, you know, he knows what he's doing, yeah. doesn't he? Jesus, wow. he just. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so I had a few little. Where did I? I can't remember my first few little. 
had a little bit of mucking around, mm -hmm. trying to get some fish feeding on the car park lake. Did find a little, found a little crack, a little spot that I could get into where I could see the fish coming mm -hmm. in, coming in. A bit tight, a little bit tight, um, behind pole. Um, but a couple of the fish, I'm trying to think of the fish that did come in initially and start feeding there, because it, it was amazing, you know, mm. you're seeing these 40 pound fish yeah. down by your feet. You're trying to keep it quiet because you don't want everyone else to <laughs> yeah. know. I, don't, I told a couple of people, a couple of yeah. people knew as well. Um, yeah. A couple of, not a couple, just one actually. Mm. And um, hung around there a bit. I used to like the back bay as well, so I was putting a bit of bait in the back bay and yeah. things like that. Anyway, a few weeks later, I was in the back bay and it was all quiet. Things had quietened down. It was, I think it was probably... August by now, start right. of August. Um, there's a there, there, there's a fish in the back bay, and, and I'm on my own in the back bay, and, and I've got him feeding. It, it, was, <laughs> it was the dust bit. Right. Um, I also, I'd be, so I'd been on there probably I don't know six weeks maybe, but I knew I only had a couple of weeks left because I was having an operation on my wrist. Okay. Right which was going to have my wrist in plaster mm -hmm. for probably 12 weeks after that. So right. I knew, oh my God, I've only got a couple of weeks on here. But mm -hmm. make the most of it, see yeah. what happens. It's all good. I'll be back here next year, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Is it? Anyway, I did manage to sneak one out of the back bay. It was a fr <laughs> Friday afternoon. Um, by now, I'd learnt to... I, 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 I was a... I sort of sussed out. If you've got your baiting quantity... Baiting quantities right... Um, or what was on show, you know, what was available to them, and I, th I think my my hook baits were better as well. So I was, I was, I don't think people were doing it then. I don't know why they weren't doing it. Right. But they weren't. I mean, I can, I can remember hollowing out my boilie, mm -hmm. getting a brown boilie to look like a uh, pellet, and and chopping it down with a, with a standing knife. So it, it was clean sort of cuts. And right. Anyway, that's what I did. No bags around it or anything like that. I just mm -hmm. cut, and it, it must have been all not as thin as a matchstick, but, but a, f a small hook bait. Right, right. Dustbin was busy. I could see the dustbin feeding on this clear spot in the back bay. It was easily accessible. Mm -hmm. it, it was literally sort of rod down like that. But I used to like putting the tip on the bottom, sort of thing, and then mm -hmm. just pulling it back just a little touch. Not, not, not. Just putting the tip on the bottom so I know everything was on the bottom and just, mm -hmm. anyway, I did dust. Yeah. Snuck it in there, I managed to get away with it while the dustbin was feeding. It was only a small little spot, it was only yeah. probably, but it was so, anyway, I got my bait and I did get the take, 15, I sort of <laughs> leant back on the tree and thought, come on, please go, 15 <laughs> minutes later, yeah, I got a take. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was the dustbin, so, wow. oh my God, made up, first car park <laughs> fish, brilliant. Um, can't remember how big it was, 37, I think. Right. 37 something yeah lovely oh i'll tell you what that room but i will say one bloke that helped me out that day big time the late jeff pink right you know i, I had an unhooking mat nice padded unhooking mat but mm -hmm. he he came up with his as well mm -hmm. so we had two mats down and he got his camera and he you know really helping me yeah, really saying yeah. oh john well you know really yeah, oh. yeah. yeah so Probably didn't say thank you enough to him at the time. I wish I did. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, anyway, lovely photos. <laughs> Everyone's happy, or I was happy. And um, uh, a couple of a couple of weeks later, I had to call it a day for the rest of the season because I had to go in and have a yeah. have my operation. Anyway, so I completely left it alone. Oh no, I didn't. Did I leave it alone? Didn't do any fishing. Didn't put any bait in. Completely mm. left it alone. Still kept an eye in there. Used to go over and see a couple of mates. I remember yeah. seeing. Used to go and you know have a cup of tea over there yeah, and that. Just keep in touch. Just keep in touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep in touch. Um, with a view to going back there and having all season next season sort of mm. thing. Oh, so I was off work. But previous when I was on the Cops Lake and the Match Lake, I was working and fishing. You know, I, I, I. Get my work done and get down there for four o'clock. Mm -hmm. Even if it was, it, it was so mad for it, do you know? I was so yeah. mad for it. I'd even yeah. get down there four o'clock after work when the clocks went back, knowing mm -hmm. that I only had an hour, yeah. hours viewing. But mm -hmm. you know, you know, you, by then I had my spots yeah. pretty good, so I knew exactly where to look. Quick yeah. check was anything happening. Mm -hmm. So I was, I, I was mad keen. Um, yeah. Well, 
bringing it back to the car park though, I had some time with that time off to formulate a plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I did formulate a plan, right? Bait the hell out of it during the close season. Not yeah. stupidly, on the fish, try and find the fish and mm -hmm. don't just bait blindly. If the mm -hmm. fish are there, feed them, sort mm -hmm. of thing. So I, that's what I did. It had a proper close season. I don't know if it's a proper close season from the 16th, but it had a good two month, eight week, yeah. three week, uh, three month yeah. close season or whatever it was then. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a couple of other people baiting, um, but I, I, I didn't see many people, I just see a few people, no one was baiting like I was, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I was trying to get over there, I was trying to get over there every day if I could, not right. the weekends, yeah. um, but in, in the week, you know, I was convalescing because of my wrist as well, mm -hmm. uh, amongst other things, yeah. um, so I had the time to bait it up, and, and yeah, I did bait it, I, I um, one fish in particular I can remember Arthur oh my days I was feeding him in Stephen's swim and he was like my pet dog <laughs> I'm not taking the mickey I, I, um, <laughs> it, it was because I put the time in yeah absolutely. I, every time I walked down the little pathway to it and it was an unpopular swim no one yeah. fished I'd never known anyone to fish in there right um for the reason being, um, I think a chap had died on the lake and it was known as Stephen's Swim. Right. Um, a few years before I'd got on there. Mm. Um, but I put some bait in and Arthur kept, mm. he just kept coming back, you know. Yeah. He, I, I, even towards the end, after the intense baiting, I'd have to walk, I'd walk down there and he'd hear me coming and he'd actually come. Up. I yeah. swear on my life. Yeah, well. And even if I couldn't see him, I'd put some bait in. <laughs> Mind you, I did play with him. I, I, I could have... <laughs> I did play about with him. You know, I'd, I'd put bait in ridiculous places. Most yeah. people, once, once he's fed normally on that spot, I'd... I'd yeah. Right, let's see how, how much of you I can get out of the water. Yeah. And stuff like that. <laughs> you know, how much of your back you can put out of your water. <laughs> and it was... <laughs> Yeah, it was a real, it, it was really, it, it was so memorable, really, yeah. really memorable. Was that a way to pellet you were baiting with? Or a bit pellet, of everything? Yeah, in those yeah. days. It, yeah. um, I've changed these days, but mm -hmm. that's another story. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, always with pellet. Um, fairly smallest pellet as well. I'm not keen on the, 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 the big ones. I like, mm. I like keeping it, I, 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 in my mind, I think, right. <laughs> Uh, one big, I don't know, 10 mil halibut pellet mm. is probably worth 20 4.5s. Mm. Um, he's, he, he's got to pick that up 20 times, or she's got to pick that up 20 times, mm -hmm. and it's using more energy picking it up yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay, so, and the more times they pick it up and put it in their mouth, the, the, the more comfortable and safe they feel with it, obviously. Yeah. That, that's the old theory of yeah. pre baiting. Yeah. Um, I still use that today. I, I still right. like a, I still like a small, but I want them busy. You know, I don't. I want them searching it out and 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 yeah. Um, you know, I'd hide little piles for Arthur as well. You know, mm. so he'd have that main lot there, and to keep him in the area, I'd put a little pile there, completely mm. off the thing, and then put another little pile there. <laughs> but not just Arthur. All that. That was the most. He was the most friendly. Right. I know people have said he's been really hard to catch in the, in, in mm. the past. I think I don't know. Maybe age. Maybe his it's age, it got older, needed yeah. the food more. Um, yeah. Particularly like pellets, I don't know what it was, <laughs> but he, he mad for it anyway. <laughs> um, wasn't just that spot, I was back a, a spot in the back, a couple of spots in the back bay, a little bit on the, not the normal spot in the gate actually. Um, people used to like the the margining leading up to Trumpton. So I, there was a lovely little patch just 10 yards down from... Um, 10 yards down from the actual gate swim before right. we got to the snags. It was just a lovely little patch with a log running through the middle of it and I could just see fish getting on it. So I'd, I'd bait that as well. And they did get on it. <laughs> um, you'd get a few commons there, um, pearly tail, a few of the others. <laughs> but up the top end as well, so I baited up there. So they really saw a lot of bait. They saw a lot of bait. Mm. Um, but, you know, close season is close season. You know, a lot yeah. of people think... Well, they feed in the close season. Try catching them in, in when the twenty anglers turn up and start casting out. Yeah, um, 
So I, I still went with it though, you know. Yeah. St- still went with it, whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm still going to bait. Anyway, the start of the season came. Um, I wanted more luck this time in the draw than I had last time. Mm. Put my ticket in. Uh, flipping hell, I came out first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what do I do now? Do you know what I mean? I've got all these spots. Where do I go? And I did. I had thought about it actually. I thought, what happens if I've got too my much main choice. swim yeah. throughout the whole season was going to be the island swim? Right. That's the one that I really liked, and that's the one that I'd, I'd scoped to work on as well. I'd sort of worked it, I'd worked one spot of it, mm-hmm. but there was another spot in the islands which I, I, I'd sort of left and not worked because I didn't want them all. Um, it was a sort of. I didn't want to blow it. I didn't want to blow it too early. Yeah. And add all these other spots, which were which were less complicated to put. You know, the, the, in the islands, it's a wave down, so you get mm. a fish, you get your fish feeding. You've still got to get your bait in somehow, mm. and if you've got a wave down to it, yeah, you, you, you're yeah, going to well, muck your chances up possibly. Yeah. Uh, whereas if you can jump, um, that's what a lot of stuff that I look for in my spots. I look for. My spots are like somewhere where I can see a little bit of elevation to get down on them. Doesn't mm. have to be much. Right. A couple of foot if, if if that's all you need, or if that's all you can get, mm. or um, and and where it's just easy to put your, your bait in, where, where you haven't got a cast. If you haven't got a cast, if you can just drop yeah. your bait in, you can almost sneak it in. Jump. You can wait till the fish is looking the other way and just yeah. drop it in. Sometimes yeah. it's not always as easy as that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It sounds good. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I came out first, <laughs> I, and I also thought the spot. What I, I mean, my main thing. I thought I'm going to catch Arthur. I thought Arthur's got to yeah. be mine. If someone catches Arthur, that's going <laughs> to. Oh my god! If that Your if that puts all that back, all the work I've done. And yeah. Do you know what I mean? I I, I did think I'd get him eventually. <laughs> Before I'd call him, but I had to sort of give up on Arthur. I sort right. of thought, right, I'm not going to take right because an, another little game. thing had happened in that actual swim the year before. Okay, right. another thing had happened. Okay, when I had my f- six weeks on there the mm-hmm. year before, mm-hmm. I had single scale feeding on, on this same spot as well. Okay, really, really feeding. Really, I just remember him flat on the bottom mm. and his mouth just going like Pac Man. Bang, <laughs> bang, bang. It was just. It was just mm-hmm. absolutely, and I just, and I could fish for it, <laughs> but I was a little bit, I, I wanted, I should have gone for it straight away. Anyway, just as I was about, I, I, I fed him on for about an hour, hour and a half, I thought, right, I'm going for it now. Mm-hmm. Go and get my rod. My rod, it was just around the corner. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> there was someone fishing next door. I won't mention who it is. I know who it is. There was someone fishing next door. His mate turned up, <laughs> and they they went, they didn't know if I'd have gone round there and said keep it qu-. well I did yeah. tell it in a few a year's time the same thing happened and I did go round and said do us a favour keep it quiet cause da, 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 and they did do yeah. it so they, right. were, they would have been fine yeah. but they didn't they made a load of noise I swear mm. on my life mm. and it fucked off over yeah. the other side of the lake yeah. and got caught <laughs> got caught the next morning or in, during the night honestly oh. that, that's, but shit like that does happen yeah. it's my own yeah. fault should have gone for it should have been more ruthless yeah You're should have been more chance. ruthless initially yeah hindsight's a wonderful yeah, yeah thing yeah isn't it well, well yeah exactly but it teaches you as long as yeah. you learn from it yeah absolutely as long as you learn from yeah. it so, yeah, um, so you come out first in the draw. So I come out first in the draw and... Did you say you went, you actually settled for the island swim? No, I didn't. Finished, I, th- did I thought, it? I'm not going to go for the island right. swim. I'm, I thought, I'm going to leave that cooking. It was a little bit more complicated. So someone right. come, although I did out someone out, and, and, and what I told them was the truth, actually. When the person who went in there, and I think you spoke to him last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't tell him what my plan was for the future, but I told him what I'd been doing during the close seat. No, I didn't mm. tell him Stephen's swim side, but I told yeah. him that's what I say. Yeah. Um, so I went in the back bay, mm-hmm. which was another spot which, which I'd had a few fish coming. Anyway, would you believe it? What? So I've woken up the next morning, first day of the season. Uh, was it the next morning or was it... Um, I think it, it so yeah. You had the start of the season that night, and um, halfway through the afternoon on the next day, mm. I've looked at the spot. I haven't even put a rod out in the back bay, so I'm chatting, I'm just mucking around, mm. chatting, drinking tea with the lads on Trumptons. Mm. 
I thought I'd go around and check the spot again. I, every hour I'm checking it. I don't want to make out... There was a... Co- Actually, no, no. Go back. There was a common on it in the morning. Right. There was a common on it in the morning. A little common. 20 pounder. Which I thought, well, that's a start. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I fed him, fed him. Next time I looked, okay, an hour later, Arthur's in there. I thought, <laughs> oh my God. So what, what I thought might happen... People turning up to fish, he yeah. spooked out of that because there's a couple of swims either side of that Stephen swim, right. and it only takes a bit of someone spotting or casting out for the Desi's Island or or a bit of for them just to mm. hold on. It's changed. I haven't mm. heard of yeah. anything splash the water for six weeks, yeah. you know, or eight weeks, however long the close season was. Yeah, <laughs> and my flipping pan worked. <laughs> he, he, came, he swam all the way from there because he was yeah. there the day before because I'd fed him the day before. Yeah. He swam all the way over to the back bay. Okay. We've got a sanctuary out the way. Um, we'll see. I don't know whether he nipped up. Maybe on, on an occasion when I hadn't been there, mm. I didn't bait every day, mm. regular baiting. But maybe I went a few days without baiting, and he he found that spot as well. Maybe mm. you know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think he did that. I think he stayed there. But <laughs> he turned up in the back bay anyway, and. Um, you know, he's flipping off of the car park, like, oh my God, John, here you go. You better stop them knees from knocking because you, you're going to have to flip and do it now. Do you know what I mean? So I've done the same thing. I've put done the same thing as what I did. Same spot as the dustbin, what I'd caught the dustbin. Mm-hmm. So I knew it. I knew I could, if I could get it right, I, I would get it right. Yeah, anyway, I put it in. Oh, there is a flipping story behind that. I have told it before, actually. And, but oh, I'd put new line on. Right. So I've put a new line on with reel, okay? Nice, lovely, strong new line. Mm-hmm. Not gonna, not gonna have to worry about that. And I don't didn't use bank sticks because I was just just on, yeah. on 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 not in the swim. I was just around on the on the. How can you describe it? Just on the back back bit of the back bay, just along the margin. Mm-hmm. Little bush to the right, and the spot was just in front of this little bush down here. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, put my bait in. And just sort of said a little prayer like this. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it rolled a, rolled a rolly up. And the tree that I'd, I'd lean up against, I thought, I ain't even going to look. I thought, I'm going to flip and sit down. So I just flip and sat down with my back to it. <laughs> but then as I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, and I know I've set it up perfectly. Do you know what I'm just thinking? I'm just going to loosen that clutch just a little bit in case it goes. Yeah. But it, it, <laughs> It was fine as it was. It was just pat. It was just nerves. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Check that. Check this. Check that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, so I've done t- two more clicks off the thing just to make it a little bit loose. Too flipping loose, John. What are you doing? <laughs> um. Anyway, halfway through his rolly, the flip is gone. I mean, <laughs> I'm flipping in. Picked up the rod. It's just gone out in front of me, and I've looked down at my reel. Oh my god, my flipping lo- I just spun out. Oh, no. I swear, my new line. So I, it just flipping come out. <laughs> it just come out. It's beyond in real. I've got Arthur on. It's behind the reel. But I didn't piss about. I just went <laughs> off. <laughs> on. <laughs> Please be still on when I pick it up. It didn't pull at all when I was right. when I was doing that. Yeah. It didn't. I sort of let it go, let it go, let it go. Yeah. When I realised what had happened, yeah, to go. <laughs> I got away with it. Spool back on, oh. flipping done it up, up, yes, still on it, it just dropped down to the bottom. Only right. sort of 20 yards out, right. just dropped down, picked it, picked up the weight of it. Proper little fight in the net, oh my God, I've got Arthur in the flipping net, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, one of my mates, Baldy, was on there, and he was, he was my close mate, or a good friend of mine over there, and I went over, I said, Dave, I said, I've got flipping Arthur in the net. <laughs> He's gone, what? I said, I've got half in the net. He says, well, don't tell anyone yet. Let's go and have a look at it first. <laughs> so it was really nice. Me and him spent a couple of minutes just having a look at art. You know, yeah. The, both, yeah. And then he said, right, you better go and give it a big shout now. He goes, go and do it off of Trumpton's. <laughs> so I've, it, which was the swim that he was fishing. So yeah. I've given it the big, ah, oh, everyone's come round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the half catch. Uh, yeah. <sighs> First day of the season, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, well, here we go. Confident <laughs> sky high. And then really, I didn't... I didn't what happened after that, I think I had... A, I had... I nearly caught Heather that same week as well. I think... Well, I'll tell you what had happened. I pulled out of the... I, I pulled out Happy as Larry, having Arthur out of the back bay. I think Chilly moved in. I think he had the dustbin. Mm-hmm. Okay, He didn't move into the swim that I was fishing. He moved into a... I think they called it Chili's Crack, which was over in the corner, but it was still in the back bay. Um, 
and he had the dustbin. So he's happy as Larry. I was, I was all right as well because I'd already caught the dustbin. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. He's moved out. I've come back down. I've had a look around. I'm half thinking, shall I get back in the islands if I can? But mm. I think there was something in the islands then. So I thought, no. Go back in the back bay. See what happens. So I've gone in the back bay. And I think the next... So this is a week. This is only a week into the season now. Right. Ever's turned up <laughs> in the back bay. And it's... I thought, right, thinking back, it probably turned up at about two o'clock. Feeding... It obviously had sussed on mm -hmm. that the season started because mm -hmm. I'd fed it a bit. Not like Arthur, not right. like Arthur. He, he, Heather was in. Did like its pellets. I know other people that have caught Heather on pellets. Um, so it did like it, but some of the other mirrors were more greedy. Well, I say that. I don't know. Long time ago, wasn't it? Mm. Anyway, I did have Heather feeding a few times. Anyway, it's turned up in the back bay, but it's coming in and it's coming in one pellet, two pellet, and then. So I mean, not going far away, mm -hmm. just going over into the corner or coming round, then coming back. And I'm looking at the situation and I'm thinking, this is, I ain't catching this at the moment. That this is a, this is a witching hour capture. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? When the light goes, it's bright. I remember mid midsummer, it was, it was yeah. really bright. I thought, and I like that witching hour time sometimes. You know, especially in the edge. I don't know. <laughs> it just gives them a little bit more safety. I think. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Um, temperatures maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I was right because as soon as, you know, the last hour of, as soon as it started getting a little bit dimmer, Heather's come in. <laughs> but it was joined by two others. Can't remember what the other mirror was. But there was three of them down there. And, and, the, and the, the, the change from when I'd seen Heather coming in, picking up one pellet, one pellet here, one, went... They went mental. They were entwining, pushing each other out of the way. <laughs> just absolutely. And within 40 seconds, three massive bar waves going out the back way, back bay. One's gone that way, one's gone that way, and one's <laughs> gone that way. Pick me rod up. I'm in. I don't know which one I've got. <laughs> Dustbin again. Can you believe it? <laughs> Dustbin again. No, it's the first time I'd... No, it wasn't the first time it was out at 40 pounds because I think Chile had caught it at the same weight. Right. the week before or a couple yeah. of days before or something like that yeah so that was so well just so so, that, so I'd had the dustbin twice now mm. but I, I couldn't do anything more you know I had three fish feeding under that yeah. bush I didn't yeah. even when it went off I didn't know which one I was at. but anyway yeah. I was still pleased I thought they're feeding you know it's, it's on the bait it, it, it's good so then I was sort of done with the back bay really <laughs> I moved in the islands. Um, yeah. And I think it wasn't long before. Well, I can remember that. I can remember looking in the islands because I, I, I hadn't really baited that and I certainly hadn't watched it because I also, the other thing about with the I didn't want to give it, I didn't really bait it that much in the close season because I didn't want to give it away. Mm. I didn't want to set it up for other people as well, you know. Mm. I thought that's something I can work on through the season do you know what I mean and if, if, if I put the bait in the work would have already been done anyone could have gone in there and done it so it, it sort of took a week of getting in the islands of getting some bait in there and then they, they did they did find it and I can remember looking in there and going to look in there there's six bloody fish feeding down there there's six <laughs> of the flipping but there's only nine fish in the lake do you know what I mean I've got six of them feeding under there and it, it, I, I can even remember one day seeing them spook and just to see sit well actually since then, I've, I've fished another lake with other big fishes. I've mm. seen sites like that since. But just mm. to see six reasonably big fish spook mentally mm. and go out, it was just... Like an eruption. Anyway, <laughs> ten minutes later, they were back. Okay, and I thought that bodes well, because <laughs> I think I can sneak a bait in there now, even if I've got to wade it in there. If they've mm. just spooked on something, I don't know what they spooked on, I didn't mm. even have any a hook bait in there. Mm -hmm. So they, they just freaked each other out, you know. Right. They haven't picked up a bait. Or, anyway... So, yeah, sure enough, I flipping waded a bait down there, put it down there, came back, had another little peep in there. Oh, they've come back. <laughs> Didn't get a tape for about an hour. Oh, there's me moaning, I don't get a tape for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a tape for about an hour, but I can remember creeping up. It was probably 10 yards up, 10 yards up the margin. I crept up the flipping margin from the bank, looked in. Massive bubbles coming up right over my hook bait. Massive bubbles the mm. size of 50p pieces. Just mm. boom, 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 boom. 
<laughs> not spoking bubbles as well mm. when they spoke proper. Mm. I thought, flipping hell, that is going in a minute. <laughs> Crept back to me thing, like the buzzers turned quite quietly down because I don't want the yeah. old late knowing yeah. what's going on. Yeah. I don't want all eyes on me when I've got yeah. a flipping possible big yeah. 40 pounder on or yeah. something. I like yeah. nice and cool, you yeah. know, no worries. Yeah. I, I get back to me rod after just seeing the, the bubbles. I didn't hang around, I literally saw the bubbles, thought, fuck it, now they're having it. <laughs> Crept back like this. Yeah. As I come back, beep, <laughs> I'm fucking in. <laughs> Picked it up. And you had to really play them hard, okay? Yeah. That season, it was a really, really, really weedy. Yeah. The whole of that, the, the, the whole of the sort of end secret, the, the secret end mm. and the gate, from the gate to the end secret was proper, was solid weed. And where I was hooking them under the trees, mm. okay, they'd probably, if they ran 45 yards, they'd hit a massive thick weed bed, and then it's a boat. You ain't getting them out of that. Mm. You've got absolutely no chance. It's mm. a boat job, and you're probably going to. Well, no, I don't know if you're going to lose them, but you don't want them getting yeah. in that weed. Yeah. Like. So I, I was playing them really. I, I was rod down, playing them hard, mm. trying, trying to get them out on, on an angle. Mm -hmm. It worked. I didn't get it. None of, anyway, so I played this fish and played him hard, played him out, out in front of me, da 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 da, da ran them round in the net. Fucking hell. He's half her again. <laughs> It's half for a game. Now, now you, I had no chance of, I had five fish down there. Yeah. No chance of, I don't like repeat cat. Yeah. Well, if you're going to have one, half for all. Really. <laughs> but you don't want repeat catchers, really. Um, I wasn't even going to weigh it. I, I, don't get me wrong, I wasn't pissed off at yeah. all, at all. But I'm yeah. like, oh shit, it's half for, it's almost like my mate. Yeah. I didn't eat I half. <laughs> not wanted to catch you the first time because yeah. I felt as though I'd totally yeah, betrayed you. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, let alone catching him again. But then I think I think it was Jeff again. I think Jeff Pink came down and, uh, and had a look, and I think Jeff said, "No, John, you really should weigh it." <laughs> I think I'd had it at forty-seven. I should know it because it was my PB mirror for mm. a long till recent recently. Right. Um, I think it was forty-seven twelve. Okay, so he said, no, John, you should weigh it. So we've weighed it. 39 and a half pound. It's completely and utterly spawned out. <laughs> completely spawned out. Um, anyway, quick one picture, back just because it looks so different. Mm. In fact, I might show you the pictures later. And yeah, it's just an yeah, incredible the difference. So that lost, all that. <laughs> and I sort of went away thinking, blimey, it must be pretty healthy. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? If he's... Mm. If he was one minute he's almost forty eight pound, and then the next minute, he, so he's fit and healthy. If he spawned that all out, he spawned. Do you mm. know what I mean? So, mm. so I, then I, I was happy. Do you know what I mean? I thought at least I felt as though I'd done some. Yeah. Fed him along. He was yeah. all right. He was yeah, happy, and, and it, so I, that was all right. Anyway, um, anyway, the season progressed um, from that island spot. I, I think what did I? Oh, your man Johnny Carriage turned up to fish one morning. <laughs> Um, just walking up with his barrow, he turned up for the week, and I, I all right, John, yeah. I mean, I'd known him from from the other side of the road. Mm. A few of them, a few of them, you know. Um, he sat down, he got a cup of tea. He'd been there ten minutes. I've had another take. <laughs> <laughs> this is about a week later after. <laughs> well, no, it might have been two weeks later <laughs> after after. But I think it was only a week actually. Anyway, I think he netted it for me, John, and uh, yeah, chunky. <laughs> He's like, John, that's another 40 pounder. I'm like, <laughs> I know, John, amazing, wow. <laughs> yeah, so we did that. And it sort of went on like that. Um, me and John were quite friendly. I mean, John liked the swim as well. Mm. And um, so quite often, me, John would jump in the swim after, after I'd, I'd always, I'd, I could never do the weekends because mm. I had my son. I'd have to yeah. look after my son at the weekend, so from Friday. Yeah. Friday nights I'd have to go and, and um, I wouldn't get back down till... Um, so John would quite often jump, go in the yeah, island. Exactly. He knew what was going on. Yeah. You know, I never... He, he, um, I think his problem was I'd already caught him the week before, do you know what I mean? And <laughs> jumped in there before him. Yeah. Um, but actually, thinking of that, I do remember one little session because he'd jump in there for the, he'd jump in there for the um, weekends. And I think one time I've turned up on the... Uh, on the Monday morning, right, John, come on, up it, lad. He says, no, John, I'm, I'm going to do another another night. And I said, oh, okay, mate, yeah, cool, mm -hmm. Great, brilliant. I think I'll go in the, um, I think I'll go in the gate. I'll wait for you to go, John. 
So I've gone in the gate. I didn't even put any. I didn't put any um, rods out. Um, but I had this little spot that I think I mentioned earlier, about ten yards down the bank. Mm -hmm. And I thought all I'd do is I think I'll put some bait on that and check it in the morning. So yeah, I baited it up. Woke up in the morning, had a look over Johnny Claridge. No, he's still not packing up yet. He's here for the most of the day, I reckon. So I've got. I had a look in. Look at me spot on. Um, on this, the gate swim, there's two, there's two carp feeding, <laughs> common, and one that they call, um, what did they call it, not the, pineapple, right, fully scaled, <laughs> I'd say the common was probably bigger, you know, the common was 22 pound, but, you know, I'm here, I might as well, I'm going to have a go for these, do you know what I mean, I'd <laughs> like to catch the common, all, all the pineapple one, mm. yeah, so I've got me right out, and, and, and as I say, it was a nice gravel, about the size of this dinner table here, yeah. had a stick going through the middle of it, I had my best hook bait on and a sharpest hook. That that was another thing that I'd sort of sussed as well, that not every hook in a packet was sharp. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's another thing that I sussed. Undoubtedly helped my... Yeah. That was during the Cops Lake. And, and, and so I always, always, always... And I had my own way of checking how sharp it was, which mm -hmm. is pretty original. Few people know it. I'm not going to give it all away because <laughs> it's... Well, you can see now, these days, you've got these mag things and you can yeah. actually visually see it. Mm. Um, but it, it. This was 25, 20 years ago, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, so I put my best rig on, put it in. Anyway, the fish came in. They, f I put it, I think I watched them and they were feeding the right side of the rod. So I put my rod, um, rod, log, that was resting on the gravel lump. So I put my hook bait to the right of it, where they'd been feeding, and they came in on this little circuit of the gravel of the gravel spot and they fed to the, the other side of it so as soon as they'd done that I whipped it over put it that side then they came in and went in anyway they buggered me about for about <laughs> two and a half hours kept me occupied though I thoroughly enjoyed it and um, just as I'm thinking what the fuck bloody hell John you can't catch these these two <laughs> they're not stocky actually the pineapples are stocky I don't yeah. know how long that common have been in there don't know when they went <laughs> I've I've, I've, I've saying I've seen something coming in. It's an original. It's a big one. It's pearly tail. It's come straight in. Ah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> By then, I'd actually changed my hook bait. They'd mucked me around so much, I'd taken off my small little hook bait, mm. okay, and put on a, almost a whole, whole boilie. Mm. All I've done is taken a little nibble out of it and made it almost like an apple core, if you mm. know what I mean. Because mm -hmm. I wanted them to visually see it. I didn't think that these... Fish had seen the bait, and, right. and I just thought, like, come on, let's just try and move it along. Do you know what I mean? So I put a big bait on, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Put my put my bait in. Clock this big and coming in from the corner of my eyes, come straight in. First mucking bait it picked up was that hook bait, and I'm in again. <laughs> Pearly tail now. <laughs> That's. Do you know what I mean? How's your luck? I'd spent two and a half hours trying to catch these two little ones. Yeah. One of these wily old originals comes in that you yeah. can never catch. <laughs> Straight in, bang, first bait. I mean, that was a right. That was a that was. I played that strongly as well because again, I'm almost in the weed bed. Mm. It's a massive. You could have had a, had a game of football <laughs> on this weed bed. Honestly, there's flowers growing out the top of it, and it was really, really thick. It's. I don't know what it's like over there. At, at the moment, because I think my lads over there, but mm. it was really bad. It was really bad. Again, so I played it hard. Because every, every metre it, it took, it was getting deeper in the weed anyway. Yeah, managed to turn it straight round in the net. <laughs> Pearly tail, big shout, Pearly tail, everyone. That got John Claridge out of his flick. That got him up. <laughs> He's come round, they've done the pictures. And yeah, so, so there was another one chalked off. Um, and then I think it was back in the islands for... I glow one morning. That was about the only one. No, I did have a couple actually. Is it? Is it? Most of the fish I knew I'm going to catch. Do you know what I mean? So it's mm. so edgy. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're flipping, living on adrenaline <laughs> so much. Ugh, it doesn't get much more heightened. Mm. Well, it, it, it does for some people in other places, <laughs> I'm sure. But for me, car park like yeah, you don't get more mm. more adrenaline rush. You know. So I'd say I don't remember how many tanks I had that season, but. All but two, I think, I knew I was getting mm -hmm. or expected to get a take. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I think I had two during the night. Um, one of them was quite amusing, actually, because 
Again, it was another capture of the dustbin from the islands. It was a funny one, though. Um, it must have been about half one in the morning I've had this take. And I didn't I had my buzzers up loud because I don't want to sleep through it. Mm. So in the daytime, I had them down quiet, keep mm. it all quiet and everything. Mm. So at night time, I, I, ain't, I want to be on it first, bleep or whatever. So Anyway, I've had a screaming take in the middle of the night. And I'm playing, I'm playing the fish and within... 40 seconds, someone's come up behind me. All right, John, flipping out of it. Anyway, he's told me, he's out in the boat, secretly, you're not allowed out in boats. Mm. He was out in the boat from the end secret, bait is almost, it's probably 10 yards away from my rod because he was coming across. <laughs> when I've had the take, he said, John, I've never shit myself so much. I've just heard your rod going off and I've just, anyway, it was the dustbin. <laughs> it, was the dust, it was the dustbin and... Um, I think we just slipped it back. I didn't even wait that time, I don't mm. think. And I apologise. It's funny when you have to go around and apologise to people and say, sorry, I've had it again, sort of thing. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But what do you do? You've got to carry on fishing, haven't you? Yeah. I think another one. So that was one in the night, which I wasn't expecting. Or I thought, you know, you're always, you always hoping it's going to go. Otherwise, what are you doing there? Mm. But I'm not visually, because I'm, I'm a visual fisherman. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just, it's not all just in the edge for me. It's catapult range, do you know what I mean? Mm. So I'm visual for bubbles. Mm visual for plinking at the mm. moment I'm into me plinking off you know when the pellets plink because yeah. I can't see the bottom yeah. um, they don't bubble on gravel so it's looking at the plinking to know when they're in the different yeah, plinking yeah. swimming over plinking where just swim over it all. so there was all all, all that was um, all that was involved um, yeah so um, I had another one it, in, no, it's first thing in the morning, actually. It was a uh, little baby uglo. Um, that's probably... I, I think that was the only time that I woke up to a tape first thing in the morning. I think mm. that was... Yeah, which was quite pleasant, you know. Um, first light take, uglo, another one off the list. What room was that from? That was from the islands as right. well. By now, I'm, I've, I've, I've taken root yeah. in the islands, you yeah. know. Um, yeah, I liked it in there. <sighs> A lot of it was because it also had an advantage of having one of the best trees on the complex. Mm -hmm. If you shinned up that, you could yeah. see what was... You know, they, they, I never used the boat, but if you had a bait boat, from up that tree, you could almost, with the humps and bumps that you can visually see, you could almost stalk the lake. You know, you could... <laughs> mm. yeah. If you're that way, that way inclined. Um, anyway, you could see what was going on from the island tree. And yeah. I could see Heather... In the middle of this weed bed for weeks and weeks. Spent mm. six weeks in the mm. middle of this massive thick football pitch of, of weed down the islands end. And I didn't have that many left to catch. I, oh, I think I'd, I did. I had a couple of losses. Oh, single scale was always a, mm. a bit of a nemesis. Is that the right word? Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. Lovely carp. Oh, my days. I'd love to have got that one. And I did hook it as well. And I hooked it and lost it. Um, yeah, that that was that was a shame. Um, I also had another ex really close experience with, with single scale mm. in the back bay. I can, I think I've mentioned in the past captures of the dustbin and Arthur that I like putting my rod tip on the bottom mm. to make sure that I'm on the gravel. You know, just dip it in, rod, feel that clinking of the gravel on me on me on the, the end of the last ring of mm. on the tip. Um, anyway, I've had single scale feed in there and I was probably a little bit, because of what had happened to me in the past over in Stephen's swim where I wasn't ruthless enough, mm. I was probably too ruthless this time. Right. I thought, right, don't muck about. Yeah. Get your bait in. You know what happens if you, mm. if, if you don't. Mm. So, I've, so anyway, it's sort of one foot in the water. So I took my shoe off. Rod tip down, okay, so my rod tip's gone down and, and uh, ting, I felt it touch the gravel mm -hmm. and I'm doing it really, really slowly because he, he's actually under their feet. Anyway, I've disturbed him because he is actually, so my rod tip is on the ground, he has swum in between my rod, <laughs> under my arms, not spooked, <laughs> yeah. didn't, sp cool as you like, yeah. just turned. Thought you were a tree or something. <laughs> I swear on my life, I swam <laughs> underneath my arms almost. As my, my, my arm is extended, mm. sort of going down and pointing to, with the rod. <laughs> it's gone under, yeah, so that was another chance of single scale gone. Mm. Um, 
Oh, well, you can't get them all. <laughs> I, you can't. I don't no. think anyone did get them all. Do you know mm. what I mean? Um, uh, so, uh, what else did I have left to catch? I had the baby orange, Heather, single, and the big orange. Big orange, I didn't really get a lot of chances. I can remember seeing the big orange... I thought I had a chance of him in the back bay, actually, in that first week after Arthur. There, there was a... It was... It never came in and settled though. It came in. A, it was hanging around for a little. Oh, I remember now. I caught a tench off the spot. <laughs> I did put my bait in, not on the spot that I had Arthur. A bit more around the corner, um, and I had a tench off it. <laughs> and then after that paraphernalia, <laughs> I didn't see a big orange glowing thing in the water again. You know, so my chance had gone on that. Yeah. Um, but, but I didn't get a lot of chances. But that was. Pretty that was the only chance I... No, no, I did have a chance right at the very, 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 very end after I'd... The last chance I had, actually. Um, but, yeah, no luck. Um, time ran out. I didn't have... A, and time and temperature, maybe. Right. Um, but anyway, back to up the tree in the island swim, looking out, looking at Eva. Oh, my... You know, <laughs> just waiting for it to be... <laughs> to do something it's been days honestly <laughs> just at the top there he is you just see it's back just out of the, with the yeah. white I remember the white marks on it hmm. back just out of the water in the middle of the weed oh my day anyway <coughs> uh, the temperatures dropped hmm. um, got into sort of October um, yeah and, and one day I Heather's back sniffing around the area in the island swim where my bait is and um I kept an eye on it and, you know, watched it until it actually came on. Came, oh, it's feeding now. Do you know what I mean? Get by your rod. So I'm waiting by my rod. Again, he, the take didn't come that quick. I had to hang. I can remember a few people walking past and saying, how's it going, John? And I was honest. I was like, oh, my God, i got ever feeding down there. Hmm. I, I think I told one person or two hmm. people. didn't hmm. tell everyone. And, um, yeah, I, could, I, I got the take. <laughs> got a take. Um, I can remember being really sort of desperate to get it in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, strong fighting fish, hardest fight I had. And, I, and I, again, I had to play it hard. You don't want yeah. to get in, in that weed. Um, and I did play it hard. Sort of arced it round, all the way round, till it came out in front of me. A lot of people had gone past me during the day, but there was no one around now. And I can remember just playing... Heather, thinking, shit, I wish there was someone here to help. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ, it's, it's going off on another run now. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was awesome. It was, it was great, actually. Loved it. Anyway, got it in the net. Yeah, big old fish, that one. And um, that's, that's still the biggest carp I've caught, actually. <laughs> um, just over £49. Wow. Yeah. Um, that week, actually, that, 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 that week was a really good week, actually. Um... I think I did five nights and I had some sort of take every every night from, from this spot, yeah. <laughs> yeah all the Two same of, tactics. All, so. all the, I always did, by now I'm only going one way, mm. you know. Um, it, it, it proved itself successful, you know, yeah. and um, I think we'll add up how many, I, I did how many takes I had actually. Yeah. Um, quite surprising, quite a few. Um, doubled up on a few. Um Anyway, that week, I think I did, well, no, I did five nights, and I think the first night I had Heather, I think the second night I had a, one of the commons, I think, then I had two bream, and, and there was only a handful of bream in, oh, I say a handful, I think there was deemed about 12. Right. All big. Yeah. Between sort of 13 and 16 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I had two of them, so I had one that. <laughs> and then, and then on the last... Night of my little five day session, I think would have been Friday night. Um, Baby Orange, which was another little, which was another mirror. One of the, it wasn't that little, thirty six pounds. I think I can remember it being. Mm. Um, and that was that was sort of it, really. That was sort of the end of the, you know, I've caught ever. I've, mm. I'd love to have stayed on and had a go for, had a go for single scale. I'd have loved yeah. to have caught single scale. But the chances, I suppose, of all the repeats. The chances so of the repeats, I've already repeated on. Well, mm. we do it now. I think I've uh, Arthur twice, Dustbin. Chunky twice, Dustbin three times, and the others singularly, singular sort of captures, couple of yeah. commons as well. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it was time to. Well, I, I did have a little session actually. My last, my last ever time on the complex. That that was quite. A, oh, speaking of single scale again, the, the very last day. So it was due to shut on the. I don't know. Probably thinking back, it was the last day of March. Mm. And I'd seen single scale from this island's tree. I'd seen single scale um, hanging about. It was hanging about on my little spot where I've been feeding Arthur all season. Mm-hmm. Uh, pre yeah. you know, at the start of the season, close season. Um, anyway, so it's the last day of the season. I've still got the night, at the, the night time, but it's the last day, if you mm-hmm. see what I mean. We've got to go at really in at seven o'clock in the morning, the next morning or whatever it was. Um, and I'm des Right, be honest with you, I've got already got Arthur feeding down on that spot, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Had him there for a couple of days. Fifty pound as well, you know. He's a big, I didn't want to cash him again, though. No. Mm. Really didn't want to cash him. And to be honest, it was easy not to because he was feeding so shallow. And mm. all I was doing is kept feeding and kept feeding on the hope that single would clock it as well, and single would come anyway. Mm. Do you know what? On the last bloody day, single. Well, from the islands tree, he started off down to the right. There's a little hump down there, and it, it was that time of year when. You know, bits come off the bottom. Yeah, like bits of leaf and all that. No, no, no. It's like a crust. Right. Crust over the um, over the gravel humps. Right. Forms over the sort of winter thing, and then mm. gradually, as the water heats up, this crust dispersed. Anyway, I could see single scale coming in and in, sort of inspecting this crust coming up. Mm. Bits of <laughs> shit coming off the thing. It happens on a lot of lakes, actually. I, I didn't notice it probably till then, but it mm. happens on all the lakes. Um, so he was around. So I'm biding anyway. On that last day, he did come on that spot. He, he's, and I thought, Jesus Christ, oh, this is going to end in like a flipping fairy tale. I can't believe it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I cannot believe it. I, I, I'm bearing in mind that I'd had a chance on this spot before, but it'd been mucked up by someone fishing next to yeah. us. I went round to them. <laughs> Do us a favour. I've got one feet. I've got the one that I want to catch feeding just down here. So if your mate comes, you, your noisy mate, Tell him to keep it down a bit if he can. <laughs> He's gone, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, ten minutes later, it, it was the last day of the season and I wouldn't have done the same, but if I'd have had the cheek, I would have done. Yeah. I've seen his little boat drop. <laughs> his little boat's dropped his bait, <laughs> right, as close as he can get to my flipping little pack. <laughs> hey, I didn't mind because I know my fi- these fish here ain't coming off this batch and feeding there, yeah. so I wasn't, didn't even, wasn't even bothered at all. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> and um, anyway, see, it's come in, and what is the, the scenario was Arthur was feeding really shallow, okay, and I was keeping him feeding shallow to keeping him out of the way, and I could see single scale deeper, okay, <laughs> okay. So I've put my rod in. I've been there twenty five minutes or twenty minutes or something. Another fish has turned up. <laughs> There's two fish feeding deep now, and Arthur's still feeding pretty shallow. Yeah, I had a take 10 minutes later, I had a take. Oh, it wasn't single scale, it was it was the big common. It was the big common. Um, right. I think it was 28 or 27 pound maybe. <laughs> but that was the last last day. Right. Oh, <laughs> that's it now. That yeah. is your lot. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You ain't so getting close. another chance. You've had your chance. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, wow. Eh, there was always basil to go for, wasn't there? No. So then, then I went up, because I, I did it, most people... Used to go up on the North Lake first and yeah. fish for basil, like do it in an order, and, and, then, and then jump onto the car, and then go onto the car park. Um, I didn't want to get stuck catching. I'd also got to know the North Lake as well, obviously, because vast amounts of time with only nine fish in the lake where there's nothing going on. Mm. You can almost say, right, yeah, there's five fish out there. Just, you, you know a lot of the, not all the time you don't know where they are when it's blowing a gale and stuff mm. like that but on a nice day you know where they all are so nothing's happening I'm going to go for a walk around the North Lake so I was already nice and familiar with the North Lake um, knew all the spots I'd also baited up a little bit in the close season up there as well so um, I had a couple of, couple of good original spots that uh, other people hadn't used um, um and basil was on the pellets because a few people had, had actually caught basil from pellets. So I was pretty, I, I was pretty confident of going up there and just 
one of these days he's going to turn up on one of your spots. Actually, I, actually, thinking back, um, I'd have, I suppose if there's one thing I wish I could have done, we, I actually had basil feeding when it was snowing one day, right yeah. at the start of February, or off the spot <laughs> where I caught it, actually, in the end, um, yeah. off the gravel lump in the, um, next to Basil's bush. <laughs> um, big flowing gravel sort of um, hump that came down, which, which, which was just... And, and, and the hardest thing about on there, on the North Lake, was avoiding the bream. So right. re- load of bream in there. Right. Loads of bream. You put, put, um, but in some ways that makes it easier because it makes you swim active. Right. Do you know what I mean? And if you've yeah. got the know-how and a little bit of luck, you can sort of use it to your advantage, mm-hmm. you know. Because um, if you keep them bream feeding, as long as you don't entice too many bream in mm. the carp are going to see that and they're going to think oh I'll have some of that as well they're getting yeah. away with it you know so, so that's <laughs> it, that was the awkward thing about the, the North Lake having to avoid the bream you know and yeah g- going back I think it was early February um, I think I no, it was I'm just trying to think it, um, yeah it was early February I'm trying to think. It was actually snowing. It hadn't settled or anything like that, but it was mm. actually snowing, and I got a few fish feeding on there. And oh my god, mm. basil, which 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 amazed me as well because it had been a. I don't think it's a really cold winter, but it was a cold winter. Mm. It had been cold, um, and that bay is shallow. Mm. And to get in that bay, you've got. I can walk. You could walk across the. Um, you could w- walk across the entrance to the bay right. by taking one one little bit in the middle. You had to take a little leap of faith, <laughs> only about f- two foot, mm-hmm. where where it would just go above your waders. But if mm-hmm. you went over, if you went out of the landing that pole, you could go all the way. Mm-hmm. So it's shallow. So during the winter, they're active. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? They have come in there mm-hmm. at some point when it's been cold, mm-hmm. which which I found quite interesting as well. Yeah. You know, they're not people think oh, they're just doing nothing yeah. at the bottom of the lake. So it's like that tenth fractional. Temperature increase when the sun's out. I don't know. Yeah, I, no, it was flipping freezing. Right, it was flipping freezing. Um, persistent baiting. Right. Persistent bream feeding as well mm. helped it. If you if you to see where the bream's out me, because mm. they're going to feed them when it's cold. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And it's, if it's a spot I can view, I ain't wasting any time on it. Do you know mm. what I mean? I can I can throw bait in and then just look. I'm not catching the bream. Do you know mm. what I mean? So keep mm. it going. And I kept it going. Kept it going. And I think that I, I, I had a few fish out of the North Lake. Cold, I think. What did I catch? I think they put one of the Copse Lake fish in there, Crinkle Tail, which right. I'd already caught actually out of the Copse Lake. Yeah, and um, I think I, I caught that during that sort of winter time. Maybe it was a week after, maybe it was a week before. But that time when I had basil feeding, I, I, I hooked another one. Hmm. Can't remember what fish it was and landed it. Um, can't remember what it was. Um, it might have been the river fish. One that they called the river fish, or I can't remember what it was, but I, it was just amazing to have. And Basil, I think it had only ever been caught once in the winter before, so I came close, came really yeah. close. I'd, yeah, <laughs> stalking as well, you know, in, in, yeah. in shallow water, that would have been. February. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have, yeah, got off on that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so eventually, that's it. I'm going for Basil, fully focused. Um, so it would have been the. It would have been. Uh, I think I think I just wandered over there after the next year after catching Heather and, and uh, catching them out of the the, the mm. car park. Um, went to and I, yeah, and I, 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 I think I turned up one morning, um, baited baited the the spot in the uh, in the bay next to near Basil. It wasn't next to Basil's bush, near Basil's Basil's bush, and. Um, Baited it, but didn't fish there. Went and fished on because I didn't want to be catching bream all night. And went and fished somewhere else on the point. Um, went and checked first thing in the morning. I don't know, five o'clock in the morning. Looked in there, all this carp about. Oh bloody hell! There's basil there. Do you know what I mean? Go and get your rod. So I went and got my rod and oh, came close once. It, really close to me up bait. Oh, no, gone past it. Yeah. Fed somewhere else. Then the swans come in. Ah, oh, the swan's coming. I thought you. <laughs> anyway, I'd noticed Basil come round the side of this and feed in a really sort of odd place, a real shallow, 
you'd never put a bait there if you were sort of mm. normally, f- I'd seen him anyway. So as soon as the swan went, I thought, I'm going to try and entice him into that spot again. I put my, put, put my hook bait straight down there. And sure enough, he flipping come up, fed around there, gradually went round to that bit as well, tucked around the corner. And I've actually got the, because I've, I've got, I'm, well, I've also, I've been chasing him, okay? Mm. So I, I've got my actual rod in my hand. I'm fishing with a lead on it, but I've got my rod in the hand. Mm. So, so I've, and I'm trying to avoid the bream as well, mm-hmm. okay? So I've still got the rod in my hand and my bait's down and he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh my God, he's really close to me with bait. Oh my God, he's over it, he's picked it. And I just lifted my rod up. You know what I mean? Got it. <laughs> got it. And <laughs> in the net, big shout. And before you know it, there's 20 people behind me. A load of them out me then as well. I remember man Martin carried the fish round to the swim so we could get some really nice photos in front of the flowers over mm-hmm. in, in, in the bush bush swim. Um, <laughs> there's Basil. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> um, what happened then? Big party happened then. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I went in Desi's for three days. <laughs> everyone who came past the fish, yeah, everyone, you know, <laughs> we had... 15 people in the swim. It was an absolute yeah. piss up. Yeah, it was brilliant. Loved yeah. it. One of, one of the best times of my life, for sure. Brilliant. Wow. Um, yeah, it doesn't get much better, really, Some does season, it? Some season, isn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was um, I had a bit of luck, but I did work for it. I Christ did. Yeah. I did. I, 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 I did it as hard as I could. Mm. Did it as hard as I could. Never. Didn't. No, I didn't. I always put my son first at the weekends, mm. but that's the only thing I probably put first before fishing. I was... Mm. I wanted to catch them, mm. or some of them, or one of them, or mm. any of them. Do you know yeah. what I mean? See how it goes. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> then I sort of had a little muck around on the River Thames. Yeah. Bit of fun, get away from it all. Um, that was quite good. I always get a... I love baiting up. Mm. I love putting bait in. And in the river, you can put loads and loads, of whatever you can get your hands on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so I enjoyed that um, didn't catch anything massive 25 pounds uh, 25 pounds which ain't bad for a mm. river fish I'm yeah. quite happy with that yeah. saw a couple of good ones saw a couple of nice dinners and stuff like that um, it was hard work though mm. getting over there and, and doing it um, and before I knew it I wanted to get back to my old stalking on lakes you know where yeah. I mean I was actually stalking the Thames as well. I did have a plot where I used to fish where I used to catch but I did used to go walking up and down the margins baiting a few spots and yeah you'd see fish coming in on the Thames and stuff like that that was quite nice um, then I got a Frimley ticket went right. over Frimley didn't really like pit three I did have a couple of fish out of pit three up to I don't think I had a 30 out of pit three I think I had an upper 20s commons obviously um, but that was just quick you couldn't stalk it there was lots of out of bounds places on which I don't understand because I, well anyway pit four you could do exactly what you wanted you mm. know you could walk around you could fish no snags it was all all edge stuff all close margins follow the wind maybe or maybe not do you know I mean big groups of fish as well if you find a big group of fish successful on that I think I baited up a couple of times, used the same sort of thing. Again, another weedy lake, so you have to play them hard. Mm -hmm. Um, A couple of buckets of pellets in, I think my first session, I think I had seven takes. (laughs) I think I lost three of them in the weed, but landed four. Um, Flipping out, I like it here. Do you know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, I did like it there. I went on and had a load. I don't think I caught it. What was the big one called? Oh, Tatty Tail, never caught that. Um, I caught some of the other nice ones though mm. to be honest um, mm. big commons up to 39 I think um, and I caught most of the mirrors out of there as well in fact right. I think um, I've, I've caught all of the mirrors I think maybe not all as fully scales there was a few fully scales in there I don't know four or five I think I had two of them um, but that was all edge work as well that brought me on as well that was a proper hardcore edge fishing no snags, no, no, nothing to eye behind. You know that was mm. all visual. Again, you know, hard fighting fish as well. They were a big old lake. Mm. Um, yeah, that was fun. Um, I, I, I sort of did different stints on there. I did, I did a two month stint, and 
Just only doing days. I only had a day ticket. Just right. go out there and, and, and walk around in, in the days. Um, oh, then I went over Dinton. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was another little... Um, I, I like Dinton. Dinton's got some incredible fish in it. Um, yeah. a- anything you want, you know. Mm-hmm. You name, name a fish and it's there. Do you yeah. know, linear zips yeah, and stunning. fully scaled... Nice big commons, you name it, they've got it sort of thing. Um, yeah, I like Dinton. Um, done a bit of work as well, loading up the black uh, black swan as well, that was fun. Mm. But not really fished black swan. Um, I don't know, maybe one day. It's a big old lake, a lot mm. of work on that, but there's some lovely fish in there, Jesus. No, white swan was, was the lake that I, I liked on there. Right. Again, only had a day ticket on there. Um, but was, got success right from the start. I think my, I can remember my first day on the lake. I think I, I think I walked around. I'd, I'd had a little look. Um, Harv, Harvey had given me a little look round. Okay, he was a successful angler o- over there. Mm. He done well. He gave me a little look round. Give me a few pointers. Um, anyway, first session on there. I've baited up a couple of spots. One of the spots. Yeah, this ain't feeding on that. <laughs> so I've gone down to Fudgy and I've... It wasn't in a swim. So right. I just wanted to check all... I bought my season, my day yeah. season ticket. I just wanted to check with one of the syndicate men- members. I said, Steve, I said, you can fish anywhere here, really, can't you? As long as you're safe and not snag... Stupid snag fishing. He said, yeah, yeah, you can. Do what you want, as long as you're sensible. Oh, brilliant. So I've cast out within an hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. Flipping <laughs> in, I'm playing it. I thought, oh, fucking brilliant. Got the fish in, got the fish in the, no, as I'm playing the fish actually, someone's come up to me behind, oh, you're not meant to be fishing there. What? Hmm. Big open play, big, there's no snags there, it was down in, in the corner, he was just saying I wasn't aware of, you know, I didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know, no one had, st- but I had one, do you know yeah. what I mean? I said, do us a favour, mate, Give, wait till I've got it in the net before <laughs> you tip. It was fine, it was fine. Yeah. And, um, so I didn't go in there again. Well, I, I, you could fish it, but you could fish it from another spot. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and that, that was a good that was a good little area. Um, a few fish from there. And then I found another little area in the margins, halfway up the lake. That's probably where... Similar to the islands, under, right. the, under the overhanging sort of branches, you know, plenty of bait. Keep the bait going in, ticking over, not too much, not too little. Mm-hmm. I was often fishing there, you know, quite often I'd throw some bait, come back half an hour late and there'd be something in there and um, didn't take long till some of the big ones turned up, you know. Um, Apple Slice and, and um, Bruno. Um, yeah, Fully Scales and, and other ones under there. Yeah. Um, but then they had a massive flood. Right. Uh, big flood, lost a lot of fish that went from White Swan, they actually went into Middlemarsh and some of the lakes out the back. Hmm. And I was only a day ticket angler anyway, you know, so I, I said, I'll tell you what, I'll have a... Well, Simon, Simon, the main man over there, sort of said, if you want to have a go on Middlemarsh, try and get some of our lost lost cart back, hmm. you know. So I sort of went over there and um, I, I actually, speaking of apple slice, yeah, rescued, rescued that one out of there. That, but it took a while to catch him out of there, though. Right. Um, and I was desperate to catch him out of there as well, because it mm. wasn't... The... Some of the big fish didn't like it. In the... God knows why they went in there in the first place. But they mm. once they were in there, they didn't like it. There was one that I, I could just tell he did not like it in there. It wasn't healthy in there. Mm. But I couldn't catch him quick enough. He'd mm. just sit in a thick snag, and I couldn't... Nothing I could do to salmon tail common. Right. That was about £38. Couldn't get him out. Um, but the others, yeah, the others, a lot of them we did rescue. Not just me, a few others had, had a few mm. out as well. Um, yeah, so that's me didn't and uh, didn't and sort of mm. life. And I'm still sort of over there mucking around on some of the lakes out the back, mm. having a little look at White Swan now and then and, um, yeah. and doing stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, we talked off mic a little bit, didn't we? Obviously, we're both quite keen with the camera. That's quite a big part of your life as well, isn't it? The photography side. I'm right into my photography at the moment. Still, I'm going to be learning all my life. Mm. I'm not trying to say. <laughs> that's the beauty of it. That's the it? beauty of it, but yeah. Yeah, definitely. Same as fishing, I suppose, isn't it? But I, I like it. I'll get a good buzz. So if, yeah. I, if I've taken a nice picture that I, that 
you know pleases it, mm-hmm. the image looks nice yeah, yeah. I'll, get, I'll get a buzz out of that um, yeah. yeah I jump on my bike take the dog out go and see what we can find brilliant yeah no, I'm saying yeah and if, it's an excuse for being out isn't yeah, it yeah of course yeah any it's, excuse yeah and I think you start to see things in a different way you almost think well this will make a good shot as you're sort of looking around you, you start to pick things up and notice different angles different lights as well mm. yeah no, definitely. It's not just that, it's reference as well, you know. So I've taken lots of pictures of fungi and stuff. And I know more than I did last year. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's all about, learning yeah. a little bit, you know. Yeah. Um, same with butterflies as well. I'm fishing at the moment, no? I, mm. I've, I've caught a couple recently, a nice little mirror. That, um, nothing massive, but a nice one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a couple of others, only to low 20s. Mm-hmm. But I've, I've enjoyed it. really close in stuff, all around an inlet as well. So right. where it's been raining a lot lately, this inlet's yeah. pushing in. Yeah, and they're colouring out. Um, no, because it's gravel. It's worked right, it okay. so much, it's gravel. Right. But if I get in there and stamp around a bit, yeah. then it colours up a little yeah. bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's not just that. It's, I, I, I actually changed my bait. So I'm not, but I've gone, I've sort of switched back again now. I came right. off the pellet. Yeah. And started using sweet corn. I just, I know people that have had a lot of success on it. And one one guy said to me, why don't you give it a go? So one day I did. It was Bernie, Bernie Loftus said, give it a go. I know he had a lot of success on uh, on uh, on sweet corn. And I had used it. To be honest, I'd used it on a little river, okay? On a little river where we were fishing for carp. And I'd, and I'd observed the carp feeding in amongst the pellet. And, the, and sometimes they used, to, so they'd start, They'd get the smell from the pellet. Mm. But once they picked up a sweet piece of sweet corn, sometimes they'd actually search the sweet corn out right. and, and sort of ignore the pellet and just oh, this sweet, and, and start mm. changing the way they're feeding, start feeding mm. visually mm. rather than just picking it up sort of thing. Mm. So that's the, that's the route I've gone down probably on the last... Um, last eight years, I'd say. I've, I've used nothing yeah. but, but, but sweet corn on okay. its own. Bang. Yeah. Yeah, put in. It's cheap as well, isn't it? Sixty-seven yeah. yeah. p a kilo, at, um, <laughs> at Aldi. So yeah. you, you can get a bit of bait in if you know. Yeah. What I mean, yeah. <laughs> and it worked when I first started using it. You know, um, I didn't know how much you could get away with. You know, like, pellet was what I knew, mm-hmm. insides and outs of pellet. But so sweet corn. What? God, how? What, what's five kilos of corn going to look like on the bottom. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And things Good like old. that. So it was all yeah. learning again. It, it was yeah. quite... It, yeah, it was quite good. And it was flipping successful as well, though. Didn't yeah. half work. Bloody hell. I can remember... I can remember... What, one of the times over one of the lakes out the back, I, I, what I was doing was taking a bag of sweet corn out of the freezer, or a couple of bags, mm. letting them defrost slightly... Now, it might sound sound a bit weird, and then putting them back in the freezer to make one big lump. Okay, right. um, you've got to be careful because they can float sometimes. Mm, okay, too much ice. Huh? You can float, but if you give it some force to push it down, it'll sort of go under, waver a, around a bit, sort of a foot under, and then it sort of sinks. Anyway, I suss that out. So, I, and I could actually see the thing where it's hit the bottom, glowing on the bottom, sort of seven, eight foot down. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I've seen that. Next day I've turned up, plopped my bait right over the top where that was. Within ten minutes, within ten minutes, yeah, I've got a forty pound on the bank. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that happened a couple of times. Yeah. It's a flipping good way of baiting. Enjoy. I was going to do a funny little video actually, you know, all stealthy, stealthy carping. Yeah. Um, and go, this is how I'm baiting up with my sweet corn, all whispering, and then getting a massive ball of like a cannonball and going, badosh! Do you know what I mean? Just to, Glowing just to be a bit different. Yeah, yeah, most people think you're sneaking around, yeah. putting little tiny little handfuls <laughs> in here and there. But it wasn't just that. I, I, sweet corn Would you fish on it? silt as well, because I've never been happy feeding. It works, of course it works. But I would say people that fish with pellet out in the middle... Well, no, because I don't always know if out, if out in their middle bit is silt or gravel, so I'm guessing. Mm. And um, I've never particularly liked feeding pellet over thick, especially thick, gooey silt yeah. to a certain extent. I don't know. But you can with sweet corn. Do you know what I mean? So it opened up another new thing for me. Right. Um, 
and that was another it was another visual thing you know I, I could actually catapult it out walk round are they bubbling on it yeah they are bubbling on it mm. whip it out and, and yeah <laughs> but now I've, I've this past couple of weeks where I've been doing a little bit of fishing mm. I've combined the two Cam the lad who's on the split lake at the moment he's doing alright on the split he's had a few he's been using pellet so he's had a few sacks about and I ain't used I said come on Ken give us a bucket of pellet and he give me a bucket and I've been using them and <laughs> I'd forgotten how much they like it do you know what I mean <laughs> Yeah, so now I'm using both, yeah. and now I'm playing around with getting the quantities of sweet corn in the swim to get a quick taste. Do you know right. what I mean? Am yeah. I going to put one bit of sweet corn in, yeah. or am I going to have a load of sweet? Do you know mm. what I mean? Just mucking around yeah. like that. And we we fish a corn bait over the top or something different. Uh, no, I, 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 my hook bait is yeah corn. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll use it as corn as well, mm. and I'm um, I'm. They love it. Yeah. They do love it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, you know, <laughs> I, I like using the old corn, it's nice. Yeah, awesome. We're revolving. Well, that's um, an hour and 20 minutes, John. I reckon we should wrap up Was there. Was it really? It went yeah. quick, didn't it? Yeah, brilliant. Babbling? No, <laughs> happy, mate. Thank you very much. My pleasure.